Ron, you and I were talking earlier today about, and we're both from Kansas originally, and of course that's the wheat state. And even though we were talking about the way the prices are right now, and you know, we're just hovering around that $4 benchmark these days. In fact, I think we have a chart of what's been happening with the prices here lately uh, with the wheat prices, but it's phenomenal how much they have dropped. And uh, they, I believe Kansas City wheat can maybe be a little above four bucks. If you look at the nearby contracts, some, in some cases we're under $4. Farmers out there all across the country have been telling me, I don't know if I want to plant wheat anymore. Can they really make money on it? Yes, I think it, making money at wheat is all about finding opportunity. You know, that, yeah, one of the things you don't want to miss is an opportunity to make money when the weather's good. And when, when that hits, you don't want to be outside the game. And so the farmers still have an opportunity here to make wheat what they make money with wheat. What they've got to do is make their investment as efficiently as possible. And that's one of the things that uh, Monty's Liquid Carbon has going for it. You know, it, it's all about opportunity versus risk. You know, Monty's Liquid Carbon gives them the opportunity to take what nutrients they've applied there and get it into the plant when that weather is good so that plant can do everything. It can make the big yields that they need to overcome the price. You know, it's, it's price times yield, so yield's the multiplier here. So indeed, it's gonna be yield how you've gotta to respond to these lower prices here. So you get the opportunity. On the other side, Monty's also helps mitigate the risk. So when you've got drier weather, it helps keep that moisture there longer. It, it helps move those nutrients into that plant, get that plant moving and stay, keep it moving under, under dry. So you still get uh, economic yield. So, you know, you look at uh, 10, 15, 12 bushel increase using monies, that pencils out. That, that art return to investment is, is uh, something growers really need to consider. The other thing I, I, I think is important to mention right here, you know, some growers may be saying, well, I've got plenty of fumix in my soil. That's one of the most common misconceptions that I, I come across here. Actually, because fumix are so reactive and because they're, they're short chain carbons, they tend to be the first thing that disappears when our soils are worked. They tend to oxidize quickly. They tend to get bound up with uh, uh, glyphosate and other chemicals and deactivated basically. So in many cases, farmers may have plenty of organic matter, but very little humic acid in their soil. So they've lost the energy mm -hmm. in that mm -hmm. soil. So again, adding this liquid, commodities liquid carbon with these, uh, this activated humic is going to revive that soil, give them that opportunity to make that yield that they need. And Joe, you, you guys have done a lot of research on using humix on wheat, right? Yes, we have. It's been fantastic. Uh, Dr. Heinegger's probably led the, the, the way in all of that research, and we've taken some of that to other parts of the country to help duplicate the results. But but he's right. I mean, he hit on the, the very topic about... Um, and farmers really don't think about this all the time, but it's it's about moving nutrients. And, and they put on fertilizers every year and usually the same amount every year, and they, and they struggle to either get the same yield or maintain that yield, when really you need a component in the soil that will actually work as that catalyst to move those nutrients they put on, convert them, move them into the plant, and therefore they're going to get higher yields. And, and this is what we found by adding this one little product, activated liquid carbon humic, and because it is activated, we stimulate the soil and the microbes in the soil and the nutrients to break down and go into that plant to get a, a quicker and better yield. As he said, a consistent 10 or 12 bushel yield in wheat, you know, 22 bushel high in corn. Well, it, it, this is part of it. You're moving more nutrients into that plant and that's the whole secret to the higher and, and getting that in the soil, it, it really does uh, uh, help to, to break down the residue as well, you know, yeah. and, and uh, that saves on your fertilizer bills down absolutely. the road as well. Sure, absolutely. We'll talk about that in here in a little bit. All right. Well, we have certainly heard some great information about the solutions that Monty's products have provided to growers around the country. And if you have questions during the show, you're also welcome to call Monty's Direct. They have folks standing by right now. Or you can visit their website at montysplantfood.com for more information. Remember that number again is 800-978-6342 if you want to write that down. So we'll talk more about Monty's products with Dr. Uh, Heinegger and with Joe when we come back, especially the residue management or the benefits that residue management can have on your bottom line. Come on back. 
Welcome back to Rural America Live with Madi's Plant Food. With me are Joe Dedman, Madi's Vice President of Agronomy, and Dr. Ron Heinecker. He, of course, is with North Carolina State University. Well, uh, before the break, we were discussing humix and their impact on uh, yield and soil conditions and making money growing $4 wheat uh, with our guest, uh, Joe and Dr. Heinecker. Uh, Joe, you said that you have a way that you can calculate your return on investment. You might share that information with our viewers and, and listeners. Yeah, especially uh, uh, when, we're t when we're looking at $4 wheat and, and based on some of Dr. Heinecker's research and others where we've actually taken uh, for example, the 10 bushel, I'll use 10 bushel as a consistent uh, yield. Then when we go out with our liquid activated carbon in the, in, at planting time, and usually that's at two quarts to the acre, uh, we get extra tillering, more tillering, which we, he also showed you in one of his slides. And tillering is what you have to have to get to the yield components you want next spring. And so then we also uh, have in, in the second part of the growing program, uh, and he, he addressed that a little bit too, and I did, about adding carbon to liquid nitrogen and re reducing that burn and increasing the efficiency of it going into the plant. Well, those are two components of using our activated humic that will actually help you put that 10 bushel on the bottom line. So if you take, if you take uh, $4 wheat times 10 bushels and you use even those two quarts and then also another quart at uh, uh, with the carbon, I mean with the nitrogen, your return on investment is around $25 if we, if we figure it that way. If you go two quarts even, let's say you're putting on a lot more nitrogen or even multiple applications of nitrogen and you go as high as two quarts, you're still returning, uh, you're spending roughly uh, $10 versus to get back 20. So it's a really great return on investment uh, to just put that activated humic in there to make that uh, product work and perform the way it does.